Rude boys! We part to see the thing. This is a dirty immigrant. The scholar. Facebook and thing, you know <laughs> what I mean? So yeah, another little rap session and thing. Thought it's I not break, a, thought I was breaking something behind me there. Nah. No, 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 no. I, no, I, heard, I heard something kind of, heard some kind of grunge under uh, back there. But I don't. I don't yeah, looks like man. everything's all right. But you know, for people who are watching live, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a scarf, because I normally don't do that. That's right, Marshall Soccer. They're in the championship game tomorrow, men's soccer team. How and I'm, I am wearing green, so you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so one of my teams. And you know what I thought about this earlier? Two of my teams now playing in championships this year. Softball played in the championship, now men's soccer playing in the championship. So yeah. there we go. Hopefully there volleyball could get there. Oh, that'd be awesome. I would yeah. love it. You know, they, they actually uh, came and asked me if I could go with them to the conference tournament. This weekend down in Houston. Oh man, I can't. Yeah. I can't. That would have you know, been warm and ding. You know, and and I t- and I told him, you know, I, I said I'm sorry, I can't because we could end up hosting an NCAA tournament game for soccer. And I told and I, and I and I was telling them that you know it, it depends on you know when the ga- when when the game is that you know basically it would still keep me from going down there because if we end up hosting a first round game that would be Thursday night. Well. The volleyball tournament starts Friday, so they leave Wednesday because there will be a practice day on Thursday and everything. So I was like, so that already kind of puts me out because I've got to be here for that, and not just to cover the team. I got to score the thing, okay? I'm like that's my press box. I got to run the show, and then if we host the second round game, well, that's Sunday, and obviously if the volleyball team if they make it to the championship, that's Sunday. I can't take the chance on, well, maybe we'll just bow out in the first round and we'll be done Friday and then we'll I come mean, back Saturday. You don't Saturday. want that to happen, No, anyway. of course you not, man. I, mean, I, don't want, I don't want them to be done fast. Are you kidding me? No, I'd love to see volleyball keep going. You know, because they were picked to finish not even making the tournament. 10th, 11th, something like that. Finished 4th. That's right, 4th place. Number 4 seed in the in the conference tournament. So, you know, even, even if they just win a first-round game and they go out in the second round, I you know, hey, it's great, you know. It's all good because they they've been fun to watch again. That's what happens when you have a coach that they like playing for. That's right. Um, so, Coach Agnes, she's been doing a great job. Coach Grassy with men's soccer, he's been doing a great job. Coach Smith with softball, she's been doing a great job. You work, you working with three good coaches? Co- coach Kemp, four good. You know, well, actually, more than that, because Coach Kemper's been doing a great job with women's basketball. Got Coach Bellamy with uh, women's golf. She's been doing a great job with them. Coach Grobe with men's golf. I'm working. I'm working with a lot of great coaches. So, I you know, it, it, it's, it's who's a, it's working a lot with swimming? Uh, well, you know what? But Coach Walsh, he's another good one. I ha- I haven't had to really do much with them, but Coach Walsh, he's another good coach. So I mean. We we've got some good ones. What about I, tennis? Tennis coach Mercer. That's uh, Cody. Cody's been trying to help out with that. You know, he's a good. I mean, he's been with the team a long. Okay, time. Okay, that's the same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose wife used to be with the team too? Yeah, yeah. She okay. used to be the coach. Now he yeah, is. Yeah. Okay, she's okay. she's given lessons and stuff. And oh, so oh yeah. yeah yeah. So I mean, we we we've got a lot. We've got a lot of great coaches. I mean, it's a lot of teams for me to cover, but it makes it easy when you've got good coaches to deal with. Yeah. So you know, and they've. And they've shown gratitude towards me. Yeah, so, yeah, and yeah, normally yeah. people like to say, "Oh, SIDs don't get don't get any love. We don't get any gratitude." But, you know, when when I when I text Coach Grassy after they beat FIU to win the regular season championship, if to get his post game quote, I mean, he thanked all kinds of people, including me, thanked me in his quote. Um, and then obviously volleyball, you know, they want to try and take me with them to the conference tournament, even though I, ha- I, I even though I don't travel with them, you know, I haven't gone with them on a trip yeah. all year, you know, they want to take me to this and, um, I, and, and, and the, and the players too, the players really don't know me cause I haven't, you know, I don't get to be around them that much, but I saw Amber Weber who's a senior, um, down on the field after the football game yesterday 
And she looked at me. She goes, "Are you coming with us to Houston?" And I said, "No, I'm sorry." <laughs> but so I mean, he, you know, the and play. there's a Trinidad girl upon that yes, team. Two destiny team, you know is a I mean? destiny is a brick wall. That girl blocks her. Her and Issa Dostal blocking shots like crazy. Oh, she's a sophomore this year. De- Destiny's a junior. Oh. Issa's a sophomore. So we got we got those two just blocking. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So I mean. You know, Coach Smith with softball has got me talking to recruits when they come into town. Just met with another one today, and her and her family are from Arizona. So, oh, I bet they wanted to go back home from the cold soon. <laughs> I, I don't know. They weren't acting like it, but you know, depending on where you are in Arizona, too, man, it can get cold yeah. there too. I mean, just because it's the desert doesn't mean it's hot all Dude, the time. It was 28 degrees in uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, the other day. You know what? Um, on my desktop computer. In my office, I've got, oh, when I pull up the Weather Channel's website, I've got Huntington, Stephen City, my hometown, and Uray, Colorado on there. So last week, you know, when temperatures were in the 20s, so it, it was saying, you know, it was like 28 here. Uray was about 47, 48, and it's like, <laughs> man, that's up in the Rockies too, man. It's 20 <laughs> degrees warmer there than it is here. Now, and, granted, uh, obviously, for you, 48 still holds. Yeah, oh, 48 goodness. is Antarctica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a girl from uh, here from, uh, uh, she comes into the store where I work, and she's from Colorado, and she came in the other night. It is so cold here. <laughs> <laughs> she's from the Denver area. Yeah. You know, she said, well, you know, I kind of got used to, like, warm winters because last year wasn't so bad, but mm-hmm. it happened so quick and so early this year. <laughs> It did, man. I mean, we really didn't have much of a fall. Because if you think, remember, we had temperatures in the 90s into the first few days of October. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was still feeling like it was July and August. And yeah. It was October. So, I mean, we only had really what felt like a few weeks of fall. But Yeah, yeah I, I still took the dog for a walk in the park today. You know, leaves all over the place. It was great. Nah, I stayed inside and walk on stuff. <laughs> Actually, this is the third time I had to go pay my phone bill, and then I run to Seven Eleven, and now I'm here. Mm. Yeah, I don't do much anybody, and I, I go to work and work, and I come home and work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that's the story of our lives, you know. Sorry, ladies, <laughs> we got to work, <laughs> work, work. Ah, bring it on, baby. See, I could sing too. You know what I mean? I could lullaby you to sleep. <laughs> you know, I had somebody because when I when I put up that post about having to sing the dog back to sleep because I, she was having some god awful nightmare. But you know, somebody asked me, "Oh, when are we going to get to hear the singing?" I said, "I'm sorry, those are one on one performances." <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. So, what else has been going on with you and Tig? That's kind of it, man. Yeah. We're just trying to hammer everything out with. You know, soccer and volleyball, and unfortunately, because of both of those teams playing well, I've had to miss a little time with women's basketball, and, you know, so I feel bad about that, but, I I mean, man, there, there's there's so much to do, you know, I mean, when, when you... When is Black Friday? Uh, the day after Thanksgiving. No, I mean, is it not? Is it this coming week or the next no, week? I, th- I think it's the last week in November. Well, uh, isn't next the following week the last week in November? No, man, it's 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 only the sixteenth. Oh no! Next man. Saturday is the twenty third. Y'all don't got me mixed up with this daylight saving. <laughs> Apparently, you've lost a week. <laughs> yeah, I lose a week because you, 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 I lose a couple of hours. You, you, you lose an hour and you lose a week? Yeah, Dang, you know what man. I mean? At Ooh. my age, shoot, I look at it and lose a couple of years, <laughs> which would have been nice. <laughs> hey, your mom's on. Hey. Oh, she's probably shocked to see me wearing a scarf, too. Like, what is that? I'll say again, men's soccer. So I try- Championship game tomorrow, 1 o'clock. ESPN Plus, Jake Griffiths calling it. I try to get tickets to the Kanye West Joel Olstein show, but the <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't. You know what I mean? And take there's well, so many. Too, they cost too much. I guess I can see that. it's free, but people are trying to sell oh. them online. Well, of course they are. You know what I mean? They got their free tickets, and now they're going to sell them. Uh, you know, the rest of the sheep beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's some big egos in there, oh man. Oh my gosh! You know what I mean? That's some. You know, dude, dude, Kanye, Kanye, my brother. If you're going on a spiritual uh, journey, <laughs> you're taking the wrong path, dude. You take you could you could you gonna go team up with Joel Olstein? 
to prove you might as well go to be like Snoop Dogg and go to the you know go up to uh, like a Rima or something in Jamaica you know and, and become a Rasta you'll find most spirituality Kanye lion <laughs> No, oh, no, that'd be, they, they, Con, they, be Kanye or something they, they, no, like that. Kanye. 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 Hey, that's my nephew, man. That's my nephew. <laughs> or or, or Ian, because it's an I before everything. Well, no, it's like, a Y. Like, like, like I he, yeah, he, he would probably call it Yian, Yian or well, something But No, like because that. he ain't going to get to say in it. Well, no, but that, but that's but that's what he does. If everything is Yeezy and Yeezus and whatever and all that crap, he'd say, "Oh, I'm I'm Yeon." Well, you whatever. know, brother man, you get out of there. <laughs> that's what they would tell him. You see, Snoop Dogg give up the Snoop Lion quick because you know. Yeah, they, but you know what? He would just come back to this country and still sell that. Yeah. Because I mean, people in the you you know people in this country don't know Rasta. Yeah, they might be wearing the dreadlocks, but they don't. Yeah, oh, they're gonna so, say he just want to smoke weed. Exactly, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know that's what Snoop wanted to do. <laughs> just want to say it's part of my religion, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then when 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 they change his name and then people go, I don't like that Snoop line. <gasps> my money, <laughs> <laughs> my money. It's all about your money. Yeah, yeah no, my cheddar. <laughs> Do they still call it that? Well, he's old. That's oh, what. Well. <laughs> yeah, but if he's got to stay hip, man, you can't keep calling it what they called it way back when. Yeah, well, you know, the old head's trying to keep it. Uh, one of the drill rappers got shot in the neck the other day. Oh, good grief. Uh, what's his name? Uh, little, little something. Little Reese. You know, they call him the Green Reaper of Chicago. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not even going to ask how you know this stuff. Uh, well, I follow this guy. His name is DJ Academics. I follow him on YouTube. Uh-huh. And it was when I started to follow him, it wasn't like it is now, you know. And I, I'll be honest. The only reason why I follow him is because he was Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> That, that's the only reason he's Jamaican, and uh, you know I thought he would be talking about you know reggae and all yeah. of that, and then it was just pure hip hop and the, the the drill rappers and the gangsters and the blase blase, you know what I mean? And he was one. He, he he's one that was like uh, talking about uh, what is that guy with a rainbow here, Takashi. He was talking say, about. Why are you asking me, man? <laughs> you know who these people are. I don't. Yeah, he was talking about him a lot and Trippy Red and all them fellas. You Again, know what I mean? Not a clue. <laughs> well, to, well, unfortunately, I know who Takashi is. Yeah. Or whatever, because of you. Yeah. To be quite honest. Yeah, but 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 you see but, that, that that's how that's where that's where I, I learn about all these young rappers from him. You know what I mean? Because uh, yeah, when the thing pop up, I'm like, oh, well, let me see what they're talking about, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then he start talking about that kind of stuff and all of that. But, you know, you know, hey, I wonder. But we got, but we got Jesus. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, he ain't talking about him much. But uh, I wonder if the Kardashians shall attend. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is a succubus allowed in the church? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of them uh, prosperity preachers are. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, brother? <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Birds of a feather. <laughs> in this case, demons of a feather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, man. dude, I'm telling you, man. What is going on in this world? It's just all upside down. Wait, no, 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 wait, no, no, no. wait, you know what's funny? Okay, you and I were talking like how I said, you know, I'm I'm getting National Geographic History magazine. And you know, you read some of that stuff in there about you know, with things going on in ancient civilizations and stuff like that. And it's like, man, not a whole lot's changed, no, really. No. You, you know? see, see we repeat in history. I think we need some more lights on in here. You know, one second. Oh, yeah. What, what are you trying to say? I, I'm too black up in that piece? <laughs> oh! <laughs> trying to get everybody to see that sweatshirt of yours, too. You oh. Know? You're kind of in the shadows a little bit there, not able to see your advertising going on. There, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> oh. But I'm telling you, man. I you know I mean this stuff's been going on 
for as long for as long as people have existed, you know, as, and we far, ain't as, learning as far from as the being mistakes. stupid to each other. We ain't learning from it neither. I mean, no. there, there have to be some point in humanity, human history, where stuff was relatively peaceful. They have to be. It has to be. But that I'm stuff sure is buried. In, I'm sure in pockets here and there. Yeah, and you know, and maybe we should emphasize those pockets because the yeah. violence is in pockets too. Yeah. I, th- I think we pay more attention to the stuff that's bad than we do to the stuff that's good. Like I remember back you, in... Well, you know what? That wouldn't be a bad thing if we were actually trying to use that as a way to learn from it in advance. And, and do it better. But we're not. No. Instead, we're pointing fingers, passing blame. Oh, yeah. And making other people angry. Are we picking sides? You know yeah. what I mean? It's, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I'm telling you, man. You know, it's like you can't say anything anymore without somebody uh, uh, bringing up some kind of political argument. Yeah. Oh. Sneezing over here, man. There's too much dust in this studio. Jesus. <laughs> Gazuntide. <laughs> Sneezing him out. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Uh, you, you know what, dude? You know what? I, I'm going to get off the, the cardiac kick. <laughs> Sneezing him out. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, you know what I mean? I don't know if I should feel wary of him yeah or feel empathy for him and it's it, it, it have nothing to do with him being uh, the, talking about trump and all of that mm. there's just so much going on in his life man i mean yeah you want to know what's in his head <laughs> i don't know if i want to know what's in his I, head. well i want to know because i mean you know the more you know about uh because it's, good lord dude that's like trying to figure out what's in a politician's head that's even scarier. Well, I want to know what's going on because they're the ones in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what they're exactly. thinking. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, because they're in charge. You know, yeah. and that's what people are like. Well, I don't want to know what they think. I do. <laughs> you know, they kind of you know set the toll for the for, for for population. You know, and I'm talking about and then, dude, uh, Boris Johnson in England, tried Sorry to. Sorry, it looks like I'm looking down, folks. I'm trying to figure out how to share our video on my phone. Yeah. And- some things aren't quite looking like they're supposed to on here, so <laughs> sorry about that. So I am paying attention, though. Uh, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of England, tried to go have a a bite at some restaurant. Okay. And he couldn't go because there were so many protesters there waiting on him. Wait, who is this again? Boris Johnson. Who is that? He's the Prime Minister of England. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The right, one right, with yeah, the Brexit yeah, yeah. stuff and all of that. Yeah, okay, gotcha. And they're having an election coming up, too. And it looks like uh, Corbyn is the guy on the other side. Everybody, he, he's the quote-unquote, but I don't think it's a, pretty the same thing because mm. he was the Bernie Sanders of, of their movement over there. And dude, 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 South America is about to go back to the 80s because they just had a coup in Bolivia. I remember oh, no. Bolivia had a coup every six, uh, six months. <laughs> I mean, an exaggerated, but every time we turned back in the 80s, Bolivia had a coup. So... The guy, I can't remember his name, Endoro or something was his name. He was the president. And uh, mm. he was an indigenous, the first indigenous person to be president. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they claim that it's uh, corruption, blah, 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 blah. Corruption, what a shocker with a politician. But but but, but you see, they, they have no basis for it. Yeah. They, it's just, a, okay, he's a left winger and then the right wingers. Uh, and, and hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. So they do that, and they say he cheated during the election, so they recounted it, and he won again. Mm-hmm. But then it was a coup because then he just resigned all of a sudden, and the military took over South America. Surprise, surprise. And then a right-wing woman took charge. Mm. And the woman said that if these indigenous people don't like what we're doing, they could go up into the mountains and the hills and live and get out of our areas. But you're cutting down the areas. Yeah. What is going on in this world, man? We have no kind of compassion, what? no kind of empathy, nothing. Well, and you know, nothing. Like one, one, one book I'm reading um, that I'm just about done with is about the Utes, you know, getting, getting pushed out of uh, Colorado. And, you know... And and the things that were being written in the newspapers to try and incite people to basically get in an all out war and just yeah. exterminate them. Yeah. You know, don't don't leave it up to the army to just you know, 
transport them out you know it's, it's you know of course this is at the time when they said you know the only good indian is a dead indian that sort of thing and i mean it just somebody some of the, some, some, of the some of the stuff that you read in there it, it's just sickening to think that you know and somebody could go ah oh, you know but that was in the 1800s but you know what this stuff is still going on oh, now yeah. oh, as far yeah. as trying to push people out yeah you know and trying to take over their take over their land take over their whatever it is and i mean heck it could be right now just we're going to push you out of your job yeah yeah we're yeah. going to we're going to take your place we're going to push you out of push you out of work go go somewhere else yeah somebody huh. named norma just mm-hmm. uh tune in hey norma i don't know who you are but <laughs> salutations <laughs> softball, uh, softball booster, uh, oh. martial athletics booster, I oh. should say. Oh. Yeah. Hey there, uh, listen, listen, listen. I'm not a liberal. Neither am I a conservative. <gasps> <laughs> You're not either. I'm just human. <laughs> and I think that we should just take care of each other, regardless of what we believe. Mm. I don't care if a person is Muslim. I don't care if a person is Christian. I don't care if a person is black, white, Asian. I don't care. It's a person. Yeah, you know what I mean, and uh, and if we get stop with the the things that we are taught to be instead of being who we are, which is human, because children are okay. What was it? I I, I love it when you stop and go. On my uh, on my YouTube channel, I tell these odd stories, right? Yeah, yeah, odd news stories. And one of the odd news stories was of a priest. Who is refusing in the Memphis, Tennessee, you know, mm-hmm. who is refusing to hire this woman because he said his dog is racist. And the church said, the well, he's, he's got a homework. point. And he I, said, I wonder if he used that excuse when he was a kid. Uh, probably he figured it will work as a grown man. No, no, no. Well, now, now so the dog ate my homework is my dog is a racist. Yeah. yeah. You remember when one Priest of the... Priest so- Doolittle. <laughs> <laughs> really doing little. Um, you, you remember? You remember when one of the softball players tried to say that my dog was racist? You know, she's oh, she doesn't like black people. And I said, well, for one, she loves this dude right here. Dude, you forget, I'm not black. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You're a furner. I forgot. You're not black. You're a furner. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I, I, I need some look, more. Look, my dog doesn't like pit bulls, okay? That's. But, pe- hey, but, but, but here's people, a question. Not a really, Is know, the pit bull black or white? All of them. All of them. It doesn't matter. My dog gets uneasy if there's a black pit bull, a white pit bull, a brown pit bull, a multicolored pit bull. One of them comes So near your her. dog is uneasy. just right down the middle like we are. <laughs> she found one thing she doesn't like, and it's, I don't like you. Don't come near me. We dunk the middle, but we're not centrists. <laughs> well, I mean, dogs are supposed to only be seen in what? Basically gray anyway. And so the funny I mean, part about it, the dog is a German shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> I got another bad joke with that one, but I'm going to leave it alone. But, but I mean. The not dude, my dog. I don't, He's I don't, talking about the dog of this preacher. Yeah, this, this, this uh, well, is a priest. So, you know, let's, let's differentiate here. Oh, it's a priest. <laughs> yeah, it's a okay. priest. A man a priest. in a cloth. A man in a frock. <laughs> 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 hey, I was raised Catholic, okay? I was too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't conform and I got called a heathen child. So, <laughs> See, I didn't get called a heathen child. I just got made fun of because I didn't come from the rich neighborhood. Yeah. So that was the first church I decided not to go to anymore. Although I do occasionally go back, obviously, you know, with my mom at you know Christmas time. You know, the Christmas mass is a little different. You yeah. Know? Plus, I've been gone long enough. I don't know who any of these people are in there anymore. Uh, did they say the yeah. Christmas mass in Latin? No. Uh, they did home, and I'm sitting there going, "Why am I here? I don't speak this language." <laughs> I, my mom would have to remind me. I don't remember, but she, she, I think she said they might have done it when she was a kid, but uh, they don't anymore. Well, I am um, a boomer. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Catholic Church was the first one I, I left. Do I don't look it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they did all that stuff in in Latin. <laughs> You know, I, I, t- oh, man. I, t- I took Latin for a couple of years, so if it, if I had gone at least around the time when I was in class, there might have been a few things I would understand. Yeah, don't know if I'd get all of it, 
But there'd be a few things I understand. That says it's Al Alex. Uh, what is that name there? Gross. Alex Gross. Hey, Alex, what's up, man? Is it a WMUL post? No, he was actually producer for Herd Vision while he was oh. here last year. He's now at Maryland. Hey, We're working, what's up? Working in Maryland. So uh, what's up, it's Alex? It's probably Good colder up you, there. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's living uh, near those uh, farmer's markets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'm not going to say which one I went to, but I went to one of the local ones here and walked out just very disappointed. I, d I did buy a jar of apple butter, but I just, you know. I, um, Dude, I didn't even have. It is not the same, man. Yeah. It is just not do the same. Do they put, like, in a. Okay, I don't know how you all do your apple they had butter a here. There's a buttload of pumpkins in there. I was like, man, I don't want a pumpkin. I'm looking at, you know, no apple pies. I mean, just like hardly even any apples, man. It's fall. I know there's apples being grown in Ohio, man. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Was it in Ohio? No. Then you need to go to the farmer's market the, there. You, you can't get apples across the bridge, man. What the heck? Do the apples go rotten the second they cross the bridge? Those <laughs> apples are just like, oh, we hit the border. Oh, oh. <laughs> For the folks on the radio, I just slid out of my chair. I mean, I, listen, dude. I, you know the uh, thing about the apple, and I think I've told you this before. When I was growing up on the island, we didn't mm -hmm. get apples around Christmas. When, so, we, so when you yeah, you said it was only around Christmas. only around Christmas, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you know, you walk through the house and you smell apple. It's like, oh, it's Christmas. Oh, I mean, that that was one of the best scents mm -hmm. ever because you know, you know, back in the day, I, I, your mom probably used to do that. You have that bowl out and you put all the fruit in it and it's sitting in the center of the living room table. No, we well, that stuff stayed in the refrigerator. Really? Oh yeah, <laughs> man. We had fruit. We had fruit in the refrigerator. <laughs> Well, we used to have fruit sitting out on the oh, bowl. Oh, no. You know man, what I mean? So, oh, no, that stuff's so, in the refrigerator. So you man. run by and you grab it, you get your grab one, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And uh, Now, I, w I will say, I, if I remember correctly, like my, great, my great grandmother did. Oh, good Lord. So. No, if you real old. <laughs> well, no, but she's all. Great grandmother. She, well, but, well, but she was also, she was also, you know, full blood Italian, yeah. too. So. Maybe it's a cultural thing. It might be. Yeah, but you know, yeah, yeah, I, can't, but then, I can't remember if my grandparents did. They might have. Yeah. But uh, but I uh, that says Jamie Irwin, I believe, is the name on there. What's up, Jamie? Softball fan. Huh? Softball fan. Oh, comes comes okay. to all the games. Yeah, uh, dude, it was so great to just walk out to my bedroom in the morning, you know, around Christmas time, and just smell apples. And then I came here. And then there's apple pie, apple butter, oh. apple this. <laughs> but, but, but then you, you all have apple. My, you're going to make my mouth water, man. I'm going to start you drooling. You have apple year round, so that. But you know what, though? The, as far as getting apple pies and even apple butter, I mean, yeah, you can still get it at other times. Yeah. But it always seems to be the best in the fall. Yeah. Like around Thanksgiving time, you know, in October into November and then obviously December at Christmas. That's when they seem to be the best. You you can still go buy an apple pie cuz I remember okay, um not this past summer, but remember the summer before that when I went and stayed a couple nights at yeah. Skyline Drive and then I went home for my sister's birthday. Well, this is in July. I still went to the farmers market, picked up an apple pie and brought it home. You know, and it was still really good, yeah. but the thing was if you go get them like now, yeah. you know, or within, you know, from, from, like I said, from October into now, I mean, you get them and they're just. I tell you what. Oh, my gosh. Here, here, so here's good. what we're going to do, okay? What? Tell me a scent that you, from a kid, from when you was a kid, that, that, that signifies uh. Christmas to you. And those that are watching there, type it in there. Type up in there and tell us a what scent. a scent that you are. Uh, that, that reminds you of Christmas, you know, something that you, it could be like a candle scent, it could be like a food you know, scent, for me, a fruit I, scent. For me, I think a lot of it was actually when my mom made spice nuts, spice walnuts and things, the, the smell of that. Because Is that, it a sweet smell or a salty smell? I See, unfortunately, I'm not that good at trying to describe it. Um, help him help. <laughs> mom yeah mom please if you're listening you know you'll be you'll be able to uh, tell me maybe you might be able to tell me do you want me to just read these names see that says alexandra warrington on there 
<laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I mean? I got my contacts in so I can see a little better tonight while he's Boomer. trying to get all close up to the computer. <laughs> see that, Terry. Believe you know? it or not, these are my focals. <laughs> so that's why you get up close. I know. I, you know what I mean? <laughs> see, see, you're telling me I'm making you feel old by mentioning my great-grandmother putting fruit out on table, and yet here you are going... So yeah, come on, people. Tell us a scent a that scent, you remember yeah. from your childhood that I, reminded see, you of Christmas. See, there were multiple spices that my mom used, you know. And I want to say there was probably things like you know, like cinnamon. Maybe it might have been, maybe even nutmeg. I don't know. Like I said, mom, if you're listening, text me right at something, you know, to, to be able to tell me yeah. all that you use because I mean I, I've eaten them, but like I said, there's a multitude of spices on there that I'm not, you know, it just. But that, but that was always a scent that would make me think of Christmas because that's when she made them. Yeah, was at Christmas time. You know, you know the the smell of a turkey baking, you know, stuffing and all that sort of stuff. Well, I mean, that's also Thanksgiving too. So that and so it's not like smelling that would, ham. would get me. But I don't even see, eat it. But the the smell of the ham. See, we've we've only done ham a couple of times. Yeah, well, most of the time it was turkey. Um, yeah, we didn't do turkey at but, all. Um, we, yeah, let, let me ask you a question. How did your that's mom? That's the American how, bird. How, how did how did your mom make uh, the ham? Did she bake it in the oven? Yeah. See, because how my mom made it is like we have what you call a coal pot on the island, mm -hmm. and you put coals in the middle. And our coals is not the coal that you guys use here. Our coal is made from a tree called a campes tree, and you cut it down and you stick it in the ground and you light it and then you cover it up with uh, with dirt, okay. and it just simmers under there for a while and it, it turns into coal. My uncle used to do it all the time. And you have this big clay pot, man, this huge play clay pot. My and mom said allspice, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Wow. Your mom is tropic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jamie said his mom would make ham every year for Christmas Eve. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Moesa said, what's up, star? Wagwan, my brother. <laughs> Wagwan, Trini boy, slash Zambian boy. <laughs> so anyway, back to back to cooking the ham. Then. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and we put this on this coal pot, and mm -hmm. you put the ham down in this big uh, clay pot. Mm -hmm. That you put on there and it, it just bubbles all night because we didn't have the fancy pressure cookers and thing that you guys have up here. <laughs> put this thing in a pressure cooker, man. Put it in the oven. <laughs> yeah. In a pressure cooker. Well, you know, we, we had a we had a stove and an oven, but yeah. I, but 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 boiling it and letting the seasoning and stuff just you know, bubble bubble bubble. Yeah, and now, it was now, always out in the backyard too. It was yeah. never in the house. Mm -hmm. So you know, when you walk home around Christmas time. All you could smell is ham cooking from every house coming and up there. And yet you, know? you wouldn't eat it. No. I ate it when I was a kid because I had no choice. <laughs> <laughs> Either eat it or you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, I was hungry. You know what I mean? So I'd have a small piece and stuff like that. Uh, so, so Moesa. He said they still do that in Zambia. Yeah, yeah. yeah my brother. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Moesa, the question was right up there, what is the scent uh, around that, that that give you the real Christmas feeling from when you was a childhood and your mom did some stuff. Get uh oh, us. Norma said we're making her hungry. <laughs> Look, he started it when he mentioned farmers markets. <laughs> that made me hungry right there because all I want to do right now, and I'm too buried in work so I can't, is drive back to a Virginia farm market, get some apples. I get another jar of apple butter, get some apple pie, get those get those apple cider donuts, yeah. you know, from home and just I could go nuts in a farmers yeah. market back there. I mean, there's seriously times I walk in there and go, All right, be careful. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, I, I seriously, you know, especially if you walk into one that they've that they've got shopping carts. Yeah. Oh, that could be trouble yeah. right there. Cause then it's all right, give me some of that, I'll take some of that, I'll take some of that. Another scent oh. that uh Another scent that 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 the, twi the Twix bars definitely too. Because yeah, my mom, yeah. you know, make, making the Twix bars and the spice nuts at Christmas time. The black cake. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. ho ho ho! My that, mom that is stuff was good. Uh, oh, you know what gosh. I mean? You know, y'all don't know it. I'm telling you, man, you want an oven? Uh, yeah, there, yeah. There's one working in my apartment, <laughs> man. I tell I, I tell you a funny story. When I first came to this country, and uh, my ex-wife is from uh, Eastern Kentucky. Okay. You know, and I went up there and I said, man, you guys have fruitcake for Christmas? And she said, yeah, but nobody eat that stuff. <laughs> so, well, for some reason in this country, fruitcake became the thing that it's like you, you give to somebody you hate. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, we got to give them something. I give them a fruitcake. Yeah. You know, I, I guess that's where also the, the, the fact that calling somebody a fruitcake is an insult. But why is it so hard? I don't know. I've is never tried to make one. Is it because they're re-gifting and re-gifting the fruitcake for, for centuries or something? <laughs> because 
<laughs> I mean, hey, you all still have that one in the basement that we got eight years ago? Just re you know, up, to, Wait a minute. Did your did you great, 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 great grandfather, uh, is that match still there? I mean, that stuff is hard. And she's like, what? what, what, what? Nobody eats fruitcake. But you see, in Jamaica, they call it black cake. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Southern Islands call it the Christmas cake. When I was growing up, it was called a fruit cake because we would get currants, raisins, uh, 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 cherries, and, and prunes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we eat prunes just like Ooh. normal there, you know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, we soak it in, a, in, a, in in wine for like three months. And then, you know, you store it up and stuff and you bake it. And uh, it's, it's a delicacy. Do you know mm-hmm. how much one of those cakes costs now to buy? Well, yeah, it's got to sit for three months, man. $62. I mean. It's a, it's, a, it's a delicacy. Three months is a long time to make. Hey, there's that, more man. stuff on yeah, there. No, yeah, I know. I just noticed that. It's a delicacy, people. You know what I mean? And, uh, so, yeah, that's another thing. Uh, that, uh, Oasis said, for me, it was the real pine tree, you know, the Christmas tree. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he said, but Palau was a staple. Oh, yeah, Palau. Palau. And, and cake. He said, but his mom made a great ham. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, she Trini, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she cook up that Pelau, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Pelau, man. I, I wonder if your mom needs to do all the pepper and stuff in it. And and, 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 and I don't know, hey, hey, Moisa, did you guys just fight over the bun bun? <laughs> okay, what the bun bun is? Bun bun. <laughs> what the bun it bun is? Like a soca song. It's, uh, it's because you cook it in a, play, a clay pot, mm-hmm. it sticks to the bottom and it makes a nice crust in the bottom. And all the spices and you know, everything is like in the bottom there. Right. Where we used to fight over that. So but you just a spicy see, bum there. Yeah, you know, a spicy, a spicy bun bun. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to like, oh yeah, let's get the scrapings from the pot. You know what I mean? Because mom used to let it stick just a little that, and become kind of hard. That that almost sounds like when uh, when I was a kid when my mom would make cookies. You know, me and my sister would want to. Um, you know, lick the beaters after yeah. she got done mixing it all up. You know, and then it's like, oh, can we can we scrape out the last little bit out of the bowl after you put everything out? You know, to make that. The, the, the cool part about and the cool part about Christmas there too, and uh, all of us cooked. Us kids were in the kitchen. Everybody was doing mm-hmm. thing in there, man. It's just, gosh, no wonder why I can't get the Christmas spirit. Cause it's not like that really yeah. here you know what i mean i was eight years old in that kitchen whipping up something you know you know whip up something you know i would i would say you know you and i can try and whip up some but man my kitchen is so so damn small i, I mean we'd be tripping over <laughs> each other so bad i'd turn around and do something i'd elbow you in the gut you yeah. turn around elbow me in the head i mean <laughs> you know? meanwhile the dog's laying there going you, you all better give me something out of <laughs> <laughs> Get me I'm, some bun bun. I'm smelling something. You better pass it my way. Oh, he said. Oh yeah, he said the crust at the bottom. All the exclamation points. He yeah. Said, he, he said you're gonna make me cry thinking about his mom's food, man. Dude, I'm already there. <laughs> I was this morning going, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I want some mommy Charles food. <laughs> oh man, I'm telling you, yeah. man. They, 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 they. I, I mean, I mean, definitely. You know, we we had you know the the turkey and you know uh, you know the stuffing and scalloped potatoes and sweet corn, you know, and green bean casserole and all those things. So I mean, all those smells. But that could also, to me at least, when I was a kid, be Easter and Thanksgiving. But so it was really, I think, kind of the 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 spice nuts and the hey, let me ask you this: Did you guys eat corn? Any other time during the year, or was yeah. it just? Oh yeah, well, well, I mean, we'd get corn on the cob and stuff like that, especially in the summer. Did you guys ever put corn in soup? I, my mom might have. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't think we put corn in in uh, pasta vajol. Uh. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's in there. I don't. I don't remember that being one of the ingredients. I could be wrong. Oh man! But, you, you, when you make a waters like we call it, mm-hmm. and you put your fish and your dumplings and your edos and your your your, your dashin and your tanya, all your provisions in there, and a lot of little spices and stuff, then you toss the, the corn in there to bubble up with it. So you, mm-hmm. man, it's called you know poor people meal, dude. We put everything ah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> we put everything in there, and I'm telling you, man. Oh, Hannah's tuned in. What's up, Hannah? Softball player. She was here last year. Man, all your peeps are tuning in tonight. What? More so than my well, peeps. But, uh, we can't tell if yours are. Remember, we're logged in through me. So it's going to show who I'm friends with that are joining. No, I mean, uh, uh, Moesa. But he commented. But as far as seeing who joins, we're oh. not going to see that Moesa joined unless he comments. Oh, oh. Because remember, it's logged in through mine. Okay. See, I don't know how these, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm a boomer. <laughs> 
I don't know how these thingamajigs work. <laughs> What's up, Hannah? Hope you're doing all right. I hope those headaches are staying away, too. Yeah. Where's she from? Uh, Ohio. She she originally went to Bowling Green. She transferred here last year. So oh, she, So oh, she played okay. here last year with us here at Marshall. Glad you came, Hannah. Oh, by the way, we well, gonna... hope you hope you had a lot of fun with us last year for your final journey through collegiate softball. Yeah, I didn't come out to see the games at all last year. I got lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I started acting like a like a former athlete. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna run laps today, so I ain't gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna go walk all the way down there. <laughs> uh, my mom said no. I think that was probably talking about putting. Uh, Maybe corn in the soup. And Jeremiah Maddox said, Andy, what? What up, Juan, Jeremiah? How you doing, my brother? You know what I mean? Uh, it's just a kid I'll work with. Mm-hmm. What's up, Jerry? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> 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 but, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, I, 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 I wish I, this y- thing would just keep going down on its own. And... Oh, Jamie said he's commenting about Hannah too. He said we're going to miss her playing in the outfield. Yeah. <laughs> good ball player, man. We're so glad she so glad she came and joined us. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know what though? What's up? That special that I'm doing about the Christmas traditions that's all around the world. It's mm-hmm. giving me a little bit of Christmas vibe going. Well, you good. know what I mean? Just, uh, you remember even, last even week? Though, even though they're strange, they're they're still they're still. Yeah, Helping because 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 you know that's the kind of stuff I used to pay attention to when I was a kid too. You know, Christmas traditions all over the world and stuff like okay. that. I used to pay attention to that. You know what I mean? Like like I, for the longest while, I didn't know who Santa Claus was mm. because we call him Father Christmas. Okay. Well, yeah. I, well, I I feel like that's one of his names here. You know? It's one of his names here too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Santa Claus is the Coca Cola vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Father Christmas is the you know what I mean? But you see, in, in have like, a present and a smile. Alone in Europe too, on the, they they have actually have a Saint Nicholas Day mm-hmm. in December. Yeah. So so pretty much the the Santa Claus guy have his own day. Yeah. You know, it's around like the fifth of December or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's just so much cool stuff to learn about different cultures and all of that. Yeah. And just learning the Christmas traditions of that is kind of giving me a little bit of Christmas vibe going because, I mean, a lot of the traditions are summer gross. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, summer gross. So, 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 so yeah, there's, a, there's an ornament. Uh, what country is it from? I think it's uh, Italy and then Spain and uh, Austria, I do believe. But he's in the deputy scene, but they have to put him in the corner. He's so gross. <laughs> I know. This is what I mean. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's there I don't know what to think about that. I'll tell you what it is here when we get off of here. It's just <laughs> But there's some Could really making a Chucky doll so for it or no, something. No, it's not something scary. It's just something gross, you know. Okay. Oh my man. But hey, uh, Matt's joining us again. Matt Conway. What's well, up, well, man? my brother? Well, good go to see you again. Yeah, but you know, so it's really cool learning all this stuff, and it's kind of giving me a little Christmassy twinge. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I still haven't put up my lights yet. I'm thinking. You, I'm gonna... you know, what's actually helping me a little bit too is is actually this cold weather, because. It, it's been a while since it's gotten this cold this early in November. Yeah. So you're usually used to, you know, sometime in December, you know, once you really start seeing all the Christmas stuff and it feeling this cold. Yeah. So that's kind of actually helping me a little bit even right now is yeah. just the fact that it's, I know you don't like it that it's this cold well, right now. Well, I'll mean, be honest with you, man. Because you're you wearing know? about 18 layers right now. I have, I have a thing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying to show me this one shirt earlier and he's, he starts going through all these layers. I said, man, how many layers are you wearing? As he's trying to find this one shirt to show me, he's like, wait a minute, let me hang on a second. He's <laughs> like, there is, there is another, there is you under there, right? I mean, yeah. When I first came here, there was a scent in the air that was foreign to me. <laughs> Because Boy, it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in the mountains of Kentucky. You know, it, well, I might have, some of that could be obviously just you know, I I feel like I feel like the forest itself when it's cold has got a certain it's, smell. Yeah, but because then, I don't but, smell it around but, uh, the concrete no, you jungle. You really don't smell it here, unfortunately. I, you can smell it a little bit in the park, but that's about it. Um, but uh, what else are they saying on there? Oh, Matt saying good to see you guys, Moesa again. When Santa tried to give gifts to the children of the workers at my school in Zambia, the kids <laughs> ran away because they <laughs> yeah, were scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
yeah, you know? see that. I mean, occasionally, you know, Santa Claus <laughs> or something like that. You know, hey, you, you, that, you that was a foreign idea to us. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, well, well, heck, even for Americans, you see that you see the video of like a parent trying to put a kid on Santa's lap, and they're just going. Oh, my God. <laughs> Kicking and screaming and all that. The one thing, hey, Matt, since you just joined on there, this is another. This is a question we asked. What is a scent that you smelled when, like when you were a kid or whatever that would mi- that would remind you of Christmas? Yeah. What is what a is a childhood scent? Uh, yeah, aroma? Chi- childhood, yes, childhood scent. Yeah. You know, uh, I remember one Christmas mm. back home, mm. Santa wore green and he came from the equator. Oh. And he didn't ride in on a helicopter. He came in on a donkey. Who, who comes in on a helicopter, man? And I, He comes in on a sleigh with reindeer. They, they bring him into the Huntington Mall on a helicopter. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if they still do, but I know uh, yeah, yeah, really? a while back he came in. Oh, a big and spectacle, he, I guess. He does come in on a helicopter in a lot of places. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes Santa on a chopper. Here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. <laughs> Don't stand too close to the blade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a duck while he walks out. Of it. <laughs> Should we write our own song? We can make up our own Christmas carols. Yeah. Uh, but uh, oh, that could be bad. <laughs> yeah, he came on a donkey. Well, I- I'll be honest with you. I didn't believe in Santa Claus from the get go mm-hmm. because I'm sorry. We don't have chimneys. But you see, our parents had a, a, a real hard time explaining how this strange European dude comes to the I was, door. I, was, I, I, I think I was told he's got a master key. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> wow! <laughs> it's like, oh, he, he can get in. He can unlock any door he wants to. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, doors were unlocked anyway. So, <laughs> but but still, you know, yeah. I just didn't believe it. You know, you what know, I mean? when I when I was a kid, I don't remember how old I was. My mom might be able to remember that i swore i heard sleigh bells one night um what did what did matt say about he said pretty much oh peanut butter cookies oh man those are good too my brother my brother oh man eating up them peanut butter cookies um i i i i swear up and down like i said i don't remember how old i was but when i one time when i was a kid i swore i heard sleigh bells i mean i'm asleep could have dreamed it whatever yeah. and obviously my eyes popped open and i looked out the window and of course i mean, there's nothing out there you yeah know? but i mean but I was like, oh my god I, was, I heard sleigh bells i know i heard sleigh bells santa was here you know couldn't see anything at the time because obviously he's mr secrecy you know doesn't, you, doesn't you know yeah, you, to find him. You, you know it's been so long i just yeah, listen dude i know this is going to sound really strange but i can't even re- I, I, I vaguely remember my son opening christmas presents <laughs> jeremiah said santa comes to west virginia and styled in the mall on a helicopter <laughs> <laughs> hey jerry hey jeremiah maya give us a scent that uh reminds you of christmas of christmas yeah that's what everybody else was putting up there your uh, turn uh, brother <laughs> So, uh, okay, so you were saying you really don't remember. I just yeah. can't remember it. I don't mm. know if it's because uh, it, it, it's the gift given thing yeah. and it's so different. Yeah. But I remember hey, I, I remember my nephews mm. and them during Christmas because, you know, they were running around dancing, mm. you know, chicken bone in the hat. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? I, I, I vaguely remember some presents opening. Mm-hmm. But the, the, you know, it's not what we did. So you know what I mean. And yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, people always say, "Well, you're gonna, you gotta come and assimilate." I did. Well, we we gotta be careful with some of that assimilation. Stuff, I was like man. 21 when I came here, so you yeah. know, I was already ingrained in me. You know what I mean, and all that. And I don't guarantee it you, probably, when I go it back probably home, would have been a little different if you'd come here, like when you were six, seven, eight yeah. years old, something like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and. uh I mean, like even when we spent that that uh, that Christmas in New York, there wasn't oh, really my any. Mom said she didn't remember how old I was either. I yeah, I, I don't. But anyway, yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Uh, even when we spent that one Christmas in New York with my mom, that was, which was the last Christmas I spent around my mom, there wasn't really any presents under the Christmas tree. I mean, my son mm. had presents and stuff like that, but yeah. you know, we never. I mean, dude. Uh, okay, let me ask you this: Do you mm. remember as a kid getting together with your mom and your family and 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 decorating the Christmas tree? Yes. Man, that was so much fun. See, another thing I remember that was so much fun, too, is, um, you know, just like either Christmas Eve or a couple days before or whatever is everybody getting in the car and going driving around and looking at everybody's lights. 
Uh, we used to go window shopping. Well, because back home, the stores would compete for the best decorations oh, and yeah. stuff, you know what well, I mean? See, I mean, man, we basically saw houses trying to do that. I mean, yeah. some of them you drive up to and go, oh, my God, I don't want to see your electric bill. Yeah. The houses. <laughs> that little meter's probably out there going, you know, spinning like a helicopter, bringing in Santa. The houses didn't decorate so much, but businesses did. I mean, mm -hmm. they went all out, man. Oh, you know man. I mean? I, so, some of these houses, you know, and some of them be nice and simple, you know, just, just, just a little bit of lights around, yeah. something like that. And, um, you know, people, probably what, maybe maybe a decade ago, something like that, is when it got started with the um, big blow-up decorations, you know, the great big giant air things in your yard. Jeremiah said chocolate chip cookies. Mm, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody's got a different oh, yeah. thing. Yeah, that's oh, kind of yeah. cool. Thanks, you, thank you, yeah. thank you guys for you know yeah. what I mean. Because now you're all putting me in a little bit even more Christmas spirit. So thank you. The man over here needs some help <laughs> with that. So because this place can suck it out of you. But anyway. <laughs> but uh, you no, know, well, I mean we we definitely like going around looking at looking at the houses. And there's a neighborhood in Winchester that they get together and they put out luminaries everywhere. You know, like the the lights in the bags. Yeah. And basically, I mean, these streets and driveways are are lined with these things. I mean, there's thousands. There's got to be thousands of them out there, and it be and it's become this huge thing that they even get somebody to come dressed as as uh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, and they ride around, you know, in a little sleigh pulled by some horses, and the kids get to go and take photos and stuff like that. And I mean, I and it's a great thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I mean, now. You can probably tell who some of the people in that neighborhood are the Bah Humbugs, you know, where they've got absolutely no Christmas decorations and probably hate the fact that traffic's being blocked on their yeah. street and they can't go anywhere. But, I, but I mean, it, it, it's it's still a nice thing, you know. They've, they've got all those decorations and everything. Oh, man, what's he writing now? Oh, he, he said that was that was the best of childhood, uh, decorating the tree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Seeing the man. lights. Now, he said now we are adults. Don't get to live near parents. You got to take yourself out to see the lights. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, agree too. Yeah, man. You, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why when I when I get to drive back to Virginia for Christmas, I try to wait a little later in the day so that I can be hitting kind of Lexington, Virginia around the t around about five yeah. o'clock in the evening because yeah. you know sun's just about down, so everybody's got their lights on now, so I can ride. I can go straight down Route Eleven. And I can see the businesses and the little towns all decorated up, houses decorated yeah. up. You know, I mean, I, and I love it. And I'm listening to Christmas music the whole time. And hey, in guys, the car. let me drop a little bit of Caribbean Christmassy vibe on you that you could do on your tree this year. Okay. Put balloons on it. <laughs> Careful, the pine trees might pop some of those. We had pine trees; it didn't pop anything. Okay, all right. put some balloons on it. I remember the some first of those time fake trees might pop them. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time uh, I was, you know, Christmas time. You know, mm -hmm. and the first uh, time I was married during Christmas time, and I said, "Let's decorate the Christmas tree." Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you do, you doing your chicken dance right now? Yeah, you know what I mean? Back, <laughs> back. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, uh, so so they went out and they bought what are those little wrong red things? Which is Christmas bulbs. No, no, not the bulbs. Uh, cranberries. Oh, okay. stringing cranberries, stringing popcorn. Yeah. Okay. And I'm all day blowing up some balloons. They <laughs> think you're getting ready for a birthday party. <laughs> and Molly, like, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm decorating the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> she's thinking you're nuts. <laughs> she did. She said, well, oh, what oh, oh, Chanda Bell joined, old former pitching coach from here. What up, Chanda? Chanda what's up, Chanda? <laughs> but yeah, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> sister, <laughs> sister, I'm decorating the Christmas tree. <laughs> I mean, we didn't put snow and stuff at all because we put mm. balloons. You put coconut well, streamers and stuff. You didn't know what stuff. snow was down there in the tropics where the temperature doesn't go below yeah, 70. Which, which, is, which is funny because we had, uh, we, 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 well, what was that? song uh, let it snow oh, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we, we got calypso voices in that. <laughs> let it snow up there for you <laughs> <laughs> you can keep it <laughs> but, but yeah you know what i mean so 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 there it's a christmas decoration christmas tree decorations and you could get the nice long ones and i think actually it served a, a practical purpose because if you have young kids, mm -hmm. you blow up a couple of balloons, they'll play with the balloons and let you be. The good. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, now we've got, you know, all the tablets and phones Ooh, and all tell that. Tell Chanda crap. what to do. Chanda? Chanda. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chanda, um, if you can, 
comment, right? We've been asking people, what is a scent, like from your childhood, that reminds you of Christmas? Yeah. So let us know that if you're still on there. Uh, uh, does your family have a weird Christmas tradition that they do? You talking about my family just, or just anybody? Yeah. Okay. Them, you. I can't really think of something that I would think of as weird, you know? I, I Listening to the Peter, Paul, and Mary Christmas special every time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I still listen to that, man. We used to watch our Glenn Campbell Christmas special. <laughs> My dad and I will watch Rio Bravo because it comes on AMC. They decide to have a John Wayne Christmas. Uh, there was one tradition <laughs> me and my mom had. And you're going to hear me talk about my mom a lot because that's that I was like really close to my mom. Mm. But we used to watch the song, the music, every single Christmas. Really? Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? I have to say that's all like my all time favorite movie. There my mom because loves of that. that movie, yeah. 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 The other day I talked about the song, the music, and one of them little. Z runs. Well, yeah, well, what is that? What is, you know, oh, that's way before my time. And I said, like, Beethoven is way before my time, but I know who that is. Yeah. Learn some that's history. Right. You know who Napoleon Bonaparte yeah. is. <laughs> it's not Napoleon Dynamite, folks. There's more than one dunce named Napoleon in this world. <laughs> Jeez. Jeremiah commenting again. And so is Moesa. Oh, Moesa said, going to bed with nothing under the tree and racing to the tree in the morning, and it's loaded with presents. That was an awesome feeling of anticipation. Wait a minute, Moesa. You all put presents under the tree there, back there, when you was a kid? Jeremiah said, you'll be in the Christmas spirit before you know it. He says, here pretty soon they will be playing Christmas music at Kroger, and I will be going around singing again. Oh, Lord. No! <laughs> Is he tone deaf? <laughs> <laughs> Look on your face is perfect. Jeremiah, come on, brother. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't mind it snowing, but, you know, don't sing and bring the rain. <laughs> <laughs> come on, no. No, I'm just teasing you, man. You know what I mean? But but, but you guys keep tuning in because we're going to play some mm -hmm. Christmas carol after Thanksgiving because I know yeah. how you all feel about it. <laughs> I will be playing it now, but I'm going to respect. Yeah, <laughs> and not played. But well, uh, you know what? Maybe let, let me look at the calendar again because we may decide we want to start playing it sooner because there could be some Saturdays that we don't get to have a show because I might be gone. Oh yeah, with who knows what? Because this team right here, Marshall Men's Soccer, who knows how deep they could maybe go in the NCAA postseason? Yeah. So don't know if I could end up either you know hosting we ho hosting games or traveling with them. Who knows? But uh, and then obviously women's basketball getting rolling and you know so no no I'm gonna have to look at the schedule again we may we may start playing Christmas music <laughs> sooner than after Thanksgiving. Musa so. said back in the day they only had one TV channel mm -hmm. and uh, they used to play the little drummer boy movie so oh, that yeah. was a tradition. I, right. I feel you, Moe. So we had one TV, and it wasn't from my old country. It was the other country's television <laughs> station. Actually, it was Trinidad. <laughs> TNT, Trinidad and Tobago Television. And TNT for us is something different. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, oh, no, we have a channel, TNT. Yeah, TNT yeah. Turner's Network. Yeah. <coughs> uh, <laughs> But, uh, and that's a, a, a Parang music. We're going to play some here. So tune in, uh, you know, uh, when we're mm. on and think you're going to hear some, you know, uh, you know, jump up type of, you know, uh, <laughs> Christmas music. You know, And then mine mean? will bring you back down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to hear, like we call it, Bacchanal Christmas music. All right. <laughs> All right. Somebody else commenting again. Sonia. The mix is already playing Christmas music, I guess, and that's somebody you work with. No, that's Jeremiah's mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's already trying to get him singing hey, for you. Uh, <clears throat> I, 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 do something. <laughs> you know, I, I, I used to work with this one guy, Connor. He, he, was, he was an old SID <laughs> with softball. And I remember one time we were, we were in a van. We were, we were in San Diego on a, on a road trip. We were in a van, and this one song came on, and he's just singing away. And Connor was awful. And we all looked at him like, Connor, come on, man. And he goes, I am what you call tone deaf, but I don't care. Yeah, you know what I mean, a thing? <laughs> Connor couldn't carry a tune for nothing, but, man, he loved to sing along. 
if a song came on that he loved. You yeah. Know? And, you know, I'm giving your heart then, Jeremiah. Sing your heart out because, you know, it's kind of like where I'm from. If you come to the uh, to, to, to the Blockorama mm-hmm. and you ain't got no rhythm, as long as you're having fun and you're dancing, that's all that matters. So sing along. Man, on, if bro. you wanted to see some people with no rhythm who are having some fun, Last night at the football game, I forget what song they were playing, but there were some people in the crowd that were definitely, you know, unfortunately pushing forward that stereotype that white people can't dance, you know, or at least that white people have no rhythm. I mean, but they they looked like they were having some fun. Dude, though. I'm from a black country. I've seen black people with no rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go. It's not just us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Granted, they didn't do all of this. Yeah, but, you know. I don't know what that was right there. <laughs> Back in the day, that? that that was the big uh, when, whenever people come to the islands and stuff and they get into the conga line. Oh, okay. The conga line. It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. what is such strange ritual you want to do? Hollywood, <laughs> Hollywood giving them another dance. <laughs> This is what they do down here, right? And everybody's yeah. going, what the hell is that? <laughs> you, you know, which is funny because you remember, uh, you're probably too uh, young to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Cle- <laughs> Cleo the Psychic. No, I remember that. Wasn't she the one with the real, real, like, heavy pretend Jamaican? Yeah, accent? yeah. They found out she's from California. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I was so special about her. Oh yeah, no, I remember her. She disappeared real quick. She died. She had, well, I, I didn't know about that, but I mean, she had commercials like crazy, and then suddenly she was gone. Yeah, because the, the, the psychic network got sued out of business. <laughs> because you know they, they, they hired actors to do that stuff. I remember. I remember one time. <laughs> I remember one time one of those Miss Cleo commercials came on, and my dad sat there, and he just started staring at the phone. And I go, what are you doing? He goes, I'm telling her to call me. <laughs> if she's any good, the phone will ring. <laughs> I just about rolled off the couch. Man, thought, she man, angered a lot of Jamaicans with that stuff, man. Oh, I don't doubt look that, man. Mean, they knew she on. was fake. Oh, Jeremiah said Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer has changed to Andy the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Uh-oh. They're, Dude, they're gonna put you look, at the, the, you? look at the size of this brown nose. Is there any, well, that, that came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sonia said a homeowner association in Texas made a guy take down his blow-up snowman decoration because they said it is too early to put it up. Wow. Whoa. Come on. You know what I mean? Whoa. Does it really matter? Wow. Homeowners Association telling you take it down. It's oh, yeah. too early. Well, the Home- Homeowners Association, uh, they tell you what to do with your stuff. Man. You know what I mean? That, that's, well, that, I know. That, that, they, they tell you that you, can't, that you can't fly a flag outside of your yeah. house, that you can't have... Uh, you, you can't have certain things on your property. Dude, you know, dude, you, they, you, they tell you, people that they can't even like uh, barbecue in the backyard because the, the aroma is uh, affecting the people down the street. Oh, yeah. There's an get, ordinance. They're jealous that they didn't get invited. <laughs> what time is it? I, man, it's after 10 already. Yeah, man. yeah. So at, least, at least before we go to the music, let me say this. You're tuned in to uh, 88.1 WMUL-FM, <laughs> the cutting edge of your radio dial on the campus of Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia. We legally have to keep saying that that every hour sorry dr bailey uh <laughs> but um thanks for tuning in everybody yeah, this, yeah. this has been a blast it's been uh, a blast thanks, thanks for sharing as well all yeah the, all the stories we will keep obviously continuing to to do this every time yeah every time we do the show in here we will do this live bit so long as facebook doesn't shut us down which i still believe they did to us once because we were talking a little too much and, political stuff yeah. against the party that <laughs> Mr. Zuckerberg roots for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> watch suddenly, it's going to be gone. Again. Um, but at least they're leaving us up while we're talking about Christmas. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to do shows more like this, lighthearted. Because, oh, yeah. dude, dude, I am so sick of all that political stuff. It's not even funny. Man, it's. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not, you know what I mean? It's Christmas. Can we do some Christmas vibe? Well, yeah? apparently not, man. You put up your blow up snowman too early and you're going to be told to take it down. Yeah, you know? Come on, people. You know you what? Know? I'm telling you. I used to be one. I used. I'm serious. I used to be one of those people. As a man, I don't want to see this stuff before Thanksgiving. But you know what? I don't care anymore because yeah. now, when I see it, it's putting a smile on my face. Yeah. I'm letting it put yeah. a smile on my face. I don't yeah. care. Some of those blow up decorations, I think, look ridiculous, and not because they went up early, but National I just think lampoons. they. But I just think they look ridiculous. National lampoons, <laughs> man. That's what it reminds me of. 
booyah, good times, you know that what I mean? That there's an RV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that there's a blow-up RV. <laughs> But it's not a Christmas decoration. What are you talking about? I'm not taking it down. So you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, we're going to do a lot of lighthearted stuff. And uh, mm -hmm. hey, we got some people hungry talking about food earlier. Got me hungry, man. And I ate before I came over here. <laughs> I did too a little bit. I got to figure out how to make a quick drive into Virginia to a farmer's market somewhere. <laughs> I want to make a quick flight to Grenada to I don't know, but then it would, that, would, that would be an expensive quick uh, flight. Yeah, that would be an expensive uh, uh, Christmas cake. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> Like, man, I should have just bought the thing for $62. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> $62. So it's like so, $62 for something I used to make yeah. every Christmas. Well, it'd be funny, you know, if you if you spent that flight to go down there, because then you could sit there and go, all right, it costs that much for the flight, costs this much for this, costs and damn, I really should have just bought yeah. 10 of them for $62. But, but if I go back each. home, I wouldn't be just bringing back this, the Christmas oh, cake. It would that, be yeah. sorry, you know what I mean? It would be fresh ginger for the ginger See, beer. I'm going to say this. If you're going to be bringing back all that food, you would not make it through customs, man, because no. these people would be taking all that from you. You and know? Going, oh. You I'm know what I mean? Just because like just like the time my mom tried to mail me some Twix bars and I never got them. Because we I all know. <laughs> we all know it's a bunch of immigrants that work at the customs. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Come through the immigration and you can't oh. understand a word they say. <laughs> well, they're definitely going to know that food you're trying to bring, man. You know what That's I mean? What Ooh, ooh, sorry. <laughs> Let him pass, but you're not keeping this. You know what I mean? No, that's not allowed here. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're looking at each other going, guess what we're having for dinner on break? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to some music. And take yeah, it yeah. So, mean. folks who are tuning in on Facebook Live, sorry you can't tune in with the music, but... You could tune in at 18.1 <clears throat> FM or www.marshall.edu slash WMUL. Stream one. Stream That's one. where you can check it out, the and music and everything. Music. We'll be playing music till 11 o'clock tonight. Okay, if you're listening <clears throat> after, I'm going to drop the first song that I'm going to play next year is going to be a parade song well you're the one to choose next because yeah. i had that it's, last one with yeah. uh, jesus i'm sorry <laughs> kanye west and jesus walks <laughs> excuse me but that was at least from his first album before he decided to go nuts it's down all the way uh, but thanks for tuning in. Thanks for participating. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I had some fun tonight. I you did know too, what I mean? Yeah. This was kind of cool just Hey, you know talking. what? When I posted earlier that the Rude Boys were going to be on, I said, oh, good times coming again. Yeah. Guess what? Always good times with the Rude Boys. Giant size. <clears throat> good times. <laughs> right there. Right there. So there you go. But obviously, this man's got some videos he's been putting up on YouTube of strange news that you can find out of some of those gross holiday traditions and all that from other countries yeah uh we Want also some fried caterpillars uh, <laughs> mm. yummy yum 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 tastes like butterfly no um, <laughs> <laughs> um and then we've got our podcast as well that we yeah. continue to do those go out every wednesday every correct? wednesday at 6 p.m every wednesday you can find it on itunes spotify and all those all that all that yep. stuff on a couple of apps too uh, yep so the rude boys rant right there for you yeah um I'm going to have projects coming out, I know, that are going to be softball-related, you know, yeah. video and highlights. Maybe, Hannah, I don't know if you're still if you're still tuned in on here, but maybe seeing highlights of her again, even yeah. though she played last year, might be seeing some of her highlights again, and especially when her birthday comes up. If I remember correctly, your birthday is in January, because I want to say when your birthday came up last year, I couldn't put up any highlights of you because I didn't have any yet, because we hadn't played yet, and you'd obviously played at Bowling Green. So this January... We'll get to see some highlights of Miss Hannah Jamarino on there for her birthday. All so, right. You know, that's that's what I do. <laughs> and anyway, again, I'm going to advertise again, Marshall Men's Soccer, tomorrow, 1 p.m. on ESPN Plus, Conference USA Championship match against number two seed, Charlotte. Marshall is the one seed. That's right. Didn't the uh, Marshall already seed. beat them once? No, they played to a 0-0 zero, zero tie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember watching that here. Yeah, yeah. And that was, that was when Charlotte was number five in the country. Marshall's 13th in the country. Charlotte is 17th in the country. So this is a big meeting, a big matchup. Mar Charlotte has now gone to, this is going to be their third straight CUSA championship game. They've lost the last two. So they're Let's looking to three. end that. They're looking to end that. Charlotte, or Marshall hasn't been in the championship game since 2015. This is their third appearance overall. They haven't won one yet either. 
But Charlotte has won one. They won that one in 2013. So <clears throat> this man's trying to sneeze that sneeze Jesus out of his body. <laughs> 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 but so anyway, ESPN Plus, Mr. Jake Griffith calling that game tomorrow. So tune in. We'll see if Marshall's going to bring home another championship. Right. You're going to drop so a parang on you right yeah, now. Yeah, he's going to choose that while I hit end on the live video. Sorry about that, folks, but we'll really get shut down if uh, if we play some music on here. So anyway, uh, and Jeremiah said, see you tomorrow. He works from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Nah, you're not going to see me. Oh, <laughs> you're going to you're, oh, you're gonna have to try and some, Work a little extra hours. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> folks on the Facebook, folks on the Facebook Live, thanks for tuning in, everybody. We appreciate it.